can I help? Do you know how to help a ghost enter the realm of the dead? Anyone specific in mind? Alina. She turned into a noon wraith. Alina gained possession of a rare and powerful item. The Nehalenia's Mirror. Nehalenia's mirrors often served prophets and oracles, for they foretold the future. Alina oft turned to her mirror for advice. I gave Alina the mirror. And? She ceased attacking me and seems to understand who she is. But she doesn't believe in her own death. She wants to prepare for her wedding. Then you must speak with the Lady of the Lake or the local soothsayer. Only they might know how to solve this problem. Thanks. Farewell. What do you want? I need your help on a matter of a spiritual nature. You can trust me. I don't know how to send Alina's spirit into the beyond. That conceited wench? She came to possess a rare and powerful Nehelenia's mirror, which once served oracles and prophets. Alina consulted her mirror quite frequently. The mirror delighted Alina, yet she believes herself alive and is preparing to marry. Lost souls of the dead show a far greater sensitivity than those of the living. Poetic arguments should convince her long enough to see her damned sister. Dandelion will be perfect for that. Good luck, Witcher. Gerald? I need your help. Right. Shoot. I need a poem. A ballad. No problem. But to do it right, I need to know who it's for. Alina. So, what should I write about? Death, Dandelion. Alina is dead, and her spirit roams the fields in daytime. Somehow we have to get her to understand that she's no longer among the living. Hmm, not your everyday commission, but I'm a professional. Any instructions? Don't provoke her and no jokes. 
She's dangerous. I'll need time. You have until sunset. Meet in the fields before dusk. Iambic or dactylic? Or maybe something new? I'm feeling uninspired. What a nightmare. The sun rocks the earth. Grain falls from the stalk. Come away with me, wanderer. Come away with the noon wraith. Gerald? How's the poem? Could we do this tomorrow? Too late. You'll have to improvise. Master Dandelion, you're to play at my wedding. My lady, Geralt and I have devised a short poem for two voices. Care to listen? Uh, what? Proceed. His lips sealed, his eyes blank, his breast stone cold, his heart has ceased. Still in this world, yet no longer apart, who is this man? The deceased. New life comes as hope springs true. His soul shines by memory embraced. The dead returns to the land of his youth to seek his beloved's face. His breast heaves, yet cold it remains. His lips move, his eyes engrossed. Return to the world, but detained by death. Who is this man? The dead. Your brain is dead. Try harder, Witcher. <sighs> New life comes as hope springs true, his soul shines by memory embraced. The dead returns to the land of his youth to seek his beloved's face. His breast heaves, yet cold it remains. His lips move, his eyes engrossed. Return to the world, but detained by death. Who is this man? A ghost. Stop! Stop! Stop. Selena killed me. My soul shall know no peace until I am avenged. Alina, it's me. Selina. As you can see, you have been avenged. Selina, don't blame yourself. I know you never intended to kill me. I'm filled with regret. Tis justice. I am damned to wander the fields at night till the end of time. Perhaps. But if we were able to lift one curse, I see no reason why we shouldn't. Will you help? 
Witcher. I'll try. Why did I save Abigail? Were her honor or virtue threatened? No. Because the law was being broken? No. Did I choose the lesser evil? No. The Reverend and his flock made a choice. I'm a Witcher. I neither judge nor punish. I solve human problems. Not always using a sword. Geralt? I did what I could for Alina. How did it happen? Alina's soul found peace. Selina... Well, there was no way I could help her. Thank you, Geralt. I'm devastated. I was a happy man just a few days ago. Now... I don't know. I may go back to Kovia 